Hey everybody, this is my second video and I wanted to show you, I know it's Valentine's Day and people are out getting flowers and going out and all that, but I have discovered something that most of you have probably never seen before. You probably never even heard of it. Um, it's becoming extinct these days, but I wanna show it to you. Um, I'm just gonna turn the camera around and you're gonna see it and you're gonna be amazed. So look. I'm turning the camera around. Is it around? Yes, hold on. Hold on. Is it showing y'all? Yeah. Okay. This, you see this right here? This is a couple that's been married for 64 years. Really? <laughs> I know most of you have never seen a married couple that's been married for 64 years. So we're gonna ask them some questions because they're an anomaly. Okay, so how do you stay married for 64 years? Uh, just stay married, just keep staying married. Don't, don't, uh, don't quit. <laughs> yeah. That's what, that's what you say, too? I say, I say that, yes. Do you get tired of being married for 64 years? Yeah, you do. <laughs> well, I don't. I don't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you do. That, I don't. There, there are various times that you have these breaks in, in this selection, you say. Oh, you, you get tired? You get tired. Okay. And then you... What you, you do? Then you then after, after a little bit, you tune back up and you... Are you fast as ever? <laughs> Don't be poking him. No, I was trying to tell you to turn the camera. Uh oh. Uh, no, I, I, I don't. I, I, uh, uh, being married is just like sleeping, you know, it's something you do. And you, you do it. Uh, the, the Bible says, uh, I mean, the married vows say, for better or worse, mm -hmm. in sickness and in health. Mm -hmm. To death do us part. So that's what that's what we're doing. Okay, can you give can you give any um can you give any I'm gonna turn the camera this way. Can you give any tips to people like how they can stay married longer or how if they wanna get out, what should they do? No. <laughs> don't let it get don't get out. If you don't get out, don't get out because okay. If you get into something else, it's just like uh, what you left. What you left, or worse. Uh, I was riding with a, a lift guy today, and he was divorced, had an eleven-year-old son, and we were talking in the conversation. And I told him about how long we've been married. My husband and I've been married. And at the end of the, the conversation, he told me that that his wife was unfaithful, and that that's why they divorced. Mm. But then at the end of the conversation, he told me that. When he met his wife, she was out on a date, and she left with him. Mm. I said, okay, there you go. There you go. Mm -hmm. You should have known right there that if she's on a date and she leaves with you, there's a problem. Mm. Mm. So it's your own fault that, that, that you got divorced. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and what would you say to men, Daddy? What would I say to men? Uh-huh. Just keep on loving them girls. Keep on loving them women. Your you wife. mean your wife? Your wife. <laughs> I don't mean, I mean not your wife. Your wife. I, I don't mean. Women. Women. <laughs> but love your wife. That's right. And, yeah. and uh, be, 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 be correct. That's be it. Be a provider. And a be provider. A, and a. And uh, put put God first and family next. Uh, family, family, yeah, yeah. Mm. <laughs> I don't know whether we can do that with the Nashes. <laughs> <laughs> What's the best part of it about being married? I don't know. I I just want me a lover. I want somebody. Oh, I don't want you. I have somebody to love. <laughs> and if I can find somebody to love. And love me, and I love them. We can go on right on to the to the end of year. 
That's right. Yeah. <laughs> and what about you? Same thing. Same thing. Same thing. Uh, no need to looking for something else. Something better. You can make what you got better. Okay, so y'all met. You were 17 and you were like 20. And y'all were like young and had hair and all that. So. So. Now you're different. How does that? How does that work? Do you miss the young pe young side? Well, well, unfortunately, I don't. I don't mentally can bring out what happened in the days. Mm -hmm. it's, it's 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 gone. Okay. I don't. I don't know. Okay. I don't know what happened. Okay. Um, but it's been it's it's, it's a good old thing. <laughs> I'll say that. Okay. Okay. Well, no. What was the question? How do you feel? You were once young. You met him when you were seventeen. How do you feel now? You're eighty-four and eighty-seven, and now you have gray hair and no hair no and hair no and teeth. No teeth. Well, you know, it's called progress. <laughs> yeah, progress. You, it do, that doesn't sound like progress, but it is. <laughs> yeah, and, and progress is here. Of course, I, I had some, some in and outs. Not, not that I was out there fooling around. No, of course not. In and out, I was taking care of business. Yes. And and I, I, I spent more time with the business. Yes. Than I did with the home. Home. But you're yeah. But yeah. still, you've always been here. And I'm gonna tell you guys, one of the biggest blessings in my life is to have. You two as my parents and to have you still together. That is the biggest blessing that God has given me. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's it you. is. It's the biggest blessing that God's given me. <laughs> Love y'all. Love you, too. Okay. I'm so, I'm so proud of what you have done with yourself. Oh, thank you. You've done well. Okay, say bye to the people. Goodbye. Okay, bye. Bye.